Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So today I was talking to a long-standing client of ours in Los Angeles and he's got his 93-year-old mother back in ICU. She's been having ICU readmissions over the last two years and the ICU has always been very quick in saying, well, she's not going to survive, she won't have any quality of life, we should just stop treatment and her son has always been adamant that she wants to live and that she will get out of ICU and she has always proven her son right that with the right advocacy she can get out of ICU, go back home and have some quality of life. Now this time round she had another aspiration pneumonia, she ended up in ICU on BiPAP but they had to intubate her and she has been intubated for the last couple of days. She's now in an induced coma on Presidex. She's ventilated in an SIMV mode with a rate of 20, with a PEEP of 5, with FiO2 of about uh, 50%. Her gases, her blood gases are average at best. Um, she has some pleural effusions, but her heart is fine. She's not on any inotropes or vasopressors. Her kidneys seem to be fine. And they're diuresing her to take fluids off the lungs and hopefully wake her up in a few days and uh, extubate her. Now the ICU is already adamant that again she won't have any quality of life or she should have an early tracheostomy and then send her out to LTAC. I advised our client um, to keep pushing for extubation. You know, a, a tracheostomy shouldn't really be discussed before day 10 or day 14 in ICU not waking up and uh, not being able to be extubated. So it's very early days, um, you know, and he should keep pushing along. He should keep advocating for the best care and treatment for his mother so she can go back home and have some quality of life uh, without having a tracheostomy or without having her life support removed because you know she is even though she's 93 you know she wants to live and um, otherwise she would have informed her son that she doesn't want to live and that, that she doesn't want to go back into ICU but that's what she wants at this particular point in time so we've advised the client what to do and he was very grateful for the advice and now he can start again, once again, asking the right questions with the intensive care team and hopefully get his mum from uh, being intubated for an aspiration pneumonia to being extubated in the next few days, avoid the tracheostomy and go back home very, very soon. That is my quick tip for today. If you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care where you can ask questions 24 hours a day in our membership forum and via email at intensivecaresupport.org. If you need a medical record review, please contact us as well. We can review medical records while your loved one is in ICU or after ICU if you suspect any medical negligence. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care and intensive care at home. Share the video with your friends and family. Click the like button, click the notification bell and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days.